All right, in this lesson, we're going to cover how we can get wrap tuck not just moving, but jumping as well. Now, this lesson is going to be great for you all because this is going to be a lot of review from the first movement setup that we started. It's going to be pretty much the same concepts here. So let's dig into this. I'm going to go through it a bit faster than before as I already described to you a lot of the inner workings, as you might call it, from the past movement setup. So let's go back and let's open up this famous character movement script that we've been working on every lesson. <laughs> but uh, by the time we're done with this, it's going to be some pretty solid fun stuff here. So first step in creating our jump. What do we need to do in terms of variables? Let's create our first variable and let's just say um, we only really need one here. We need the force of the jump, right? So I'm going to start by commenting out. I'm going to say jump variables. All right. Looks good to me. I'm just going to punt this back just like our walking one is set up. And then I'll tab up on this one. I'm going to say jump. Oops, forgot my brackets or slashes. And jump, sp uh, not speed, force. So let's create our jump force variable. Now I'm going to say public float jump force. And I'm going to tab out and just say equal to 300. I don't know how that is, but let's just see. And remember, because it's a float, dot zero, F. And I'm going to add some colons to that and um, end that statement. Awesome. We already have our jumping variable. So let's go down to <clears throat> our update function. And what we want to do here is we want to set, um, we're, we're using our update function because this is based off of an input at this point. What we want to do is we want to set it to when we hit the space bar, then our character is going to have force applied in the Y axis to launch them up in the air and spring them up and jump. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And we're going to do that using an if statement, um, just like we covered in the last lessons there. And this is all going to be review for you guys. So this is going to be great. So let's go ahead and write this if statement. So if You've seen this before, input dot. We're going to use a slightly different one. We're going to go get button down. What that's going to do is as soon as we hit the key and the key is pressed down, it's going to perform this action. And what button do we want to look for? We're going to use our input manager's jumping um, string here. So jump, just like we covered in the last lessons, uh, the input manager has jump and horizontal, all that kind of stuff. I'm just utilizing Unity's engine. You could just write spacebar in here, but I want to say jump. And um, one thing to notice here is get button down. Because we're in an if statement, we need to close off within brackets, right? But right in here, our get button down has brackets within here to contain its own information. So as you can see, when I'm hovered over this, we get this orange highlight here. And if I go over here, that means these brackets are closed off and that's great. But when I go down to our if statement, we have nothing. We need to add one more bracket to close off our main container of the if statement there and contain this bracket within it. So now we have those hides. Something to keep an eye out for, for sure. So now let's go down and let's um, create our good old curly brackets. All right. And now what do we want to do? When we hit the space bar, we want to apply that force now, right? So let's go ahead and do that. What we need to do is we need to access that rigid body 2D component like we did before. And I'm going to add, hey, look at that, it's at the top. I'm going to add force this time. Not velocity, but I'm going to add force. And what this is going to do is velocity is more of a continuous um, movement like force. It's always there. Force is just like a burst. It's like a, a one-off type thing. So you add force like shooting a gun. You have that initial burst of force. And if you want to get more into reading about all these, remember what I showed you. In Unity, if you go help and that scripting reference, type in rigid body, type in add force, and you'll see um, all the things you can do and more detail there. Now that we're adding our force, let's go ahead and what kind of force do we want to apply? We want to apply it in the um, vector 2 axis of the Y because we're applying this to a 2D movement. So we have the X and the Y axis to store. So in our X axis, we don't want anything. But first, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's create that new vector 2 as we did in the movement. Now we can go ahead and create our brackets for this. So I'm going to say brackets. 
I'm going to say my float for the x is going to be 0, 0.0f. I don't want to apply any force in that x axis. I only want to launch them up in the air. So now we have that, and we created that awesome variable for jump force for our y axis. Close this thing off here. And look at this, I need one more brackets. As you can see, this is just closing off this. We still have our vector 2 in here, so close that off. Cool. And of course, it's the end of a statement, so what do we add? We add that good old semicolon. Perfect. So I'm going to save this. That's pretty much it. We have, we've created our variable, our jump force, to contain how much force we want to add. Scroll down, we went down to our update function. We've added it so whenever we hit the... When we press the jump button down, it's going to take that rigid body, add force in the y-axis of our jumping force variable amount. So let me save this out. Let me go down to Unity. And uh, let me click on my character. We can see. Cool. We have our public jump force variable that we can see. Let's hit play and see what we get. Here we go. We have our character moving around just like we set up. He's flipping. Yay. OK. Let me hit spacebar. Wow, look at this. We got a jumpin' Raptuck. All right, cool. So now when we go over here, he's jumping around. Only problem is, looks like he's on the moon. So I don't know what kind of environment you want Raptuck to be in, but I want him to be in a cave tomb somewhere on this earth, right? So let's fix that. Right now what we can do is I'm going to keep it in play mode so I can play with some variables here and um, values and test it out as we're on the go here. So when you go to edit our project settings, we have physics 2D. This is the main um, gravity force within this whole game project that Unity is refer like referencing uh, with all our masses for on all our rigid bodies and everything like that. So we need, it's, we're setting gravity for this world. <clears throat> right now, our Y is set to negative nine. It's not quite enough for this guy. So let's play with this. Let's adjust it. Let's go minus 14. It's getting better. It's getting better. So let's go down a little more. I like this. Minus 18. I'm happy with that. <clears throat> I'm going to unplay this because it's going to reset everything, right? So unplay and let's set that. Let's go minus 18. All right. And let's hit play again just to test it out. Cool. That works for me. Awesome. So that's it. Pretty simple. It's a nice review lesson for you guys. In the next lesson, we're going to move on. There's one issue with this. Everything's working fine. But look at this. I don't know. I don't know about this. I haven't seen too many game characters doing this unless they're magical or something. But uh, I didn't quite intend for Raptor to be a magical mummy. So we're going to have to fix this. When I hit the space where it's adding force no matter what. So, it's kind of fun actually, so, <laughs> but I'm going to stop this and I'm going to go back to mono develop. <clears throat> and what do we need to do? Logically, we need to say if input dot get button down jump and if he's on the ground, then apply the force. Right now, we don't have that set up yet. So we're going to go ahead in the next lesson set up to tell Unity if our character's on the ground, let him jump. If he's not, don't do anything. Let him land first. So we're going to go ahead in the next lesson and get that going. Before we wrap this up quickly, I'm just going to say a quick comment. I'm going to say, um, add jumping force to wrap tuck um, to make him jump. Always comment out. Um, I always do. You guys can do whatever you want. For this, you can comment out little notes like saying accessing and creating a new vector to applying the jump force on the y-axis. If you need to, it might help you as you're learning. Uh, that's great if you go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's it. We are done with this lesson. Like I said, we're going to move on and let's uh, ground this character. I'll see you there.